Good afternoon. I'd like to call this meeting to order with a reminder that the actions taken today will focus on our students, but more importantly on what is going to take place in our community. So with that, I'd like to call this meeting to order. And I need to read a statement because we have a board member, Susie Hines, that is um, attending this meeting by, through electronic means. So a governmental body may conduct a meeting by electronic means only when circumstances where such a meeting in person is impossible or impractical, <coughs> or only if the gov governmental body provides public access to the conversation of the meeting to the extent reasonably possible. The place of this meeting is the place in which the communication originates and the meeting and the minutes of the meeting shall include a statement explaining why the meeting in person was impossible or impractical as pursuant to Iowa Code 21.8. And the reason Susie is not with us today is she was able, not able to um, come here from the office. Thank you. Thank you. So the, uh, the first item is to, uh, and only item really on the agenda is discuss and accept recommendation for Aldridge Elementary bids. We are very pleased and, and honored to have uh, Dan Channer and, and Mike Brocay here to be able to talk us through this. But I know each of the board members uh, have two pieces of paper in front of them and, and certainly these, these will be on our website uh, as well. Uh, the first one is just the uh, bid uh, recommendation letter. Uh, for Aldrich Elementary and again we just can't express our gratitude for our community and certainly the work of our design teams and the work of all of our staff uh, to help put this together because what a tremendous opportunity as we look to the future and, and really a unique opportunity to actually build a brand new elementary for our growing community, our growing uh, uh, school district as a whole. So very, very exciting day uh, as we look to the future. Uh, you can see within the uh, letter as well as the uh, bid tabs, we had bids that came due for Aldrich Elementary. We had four total bidders. Uh, it's a very large project. Um, the low base bidder was Larson Construction and they came in at $19,940,000. Uh, the range was a, a fairly large range. The highest bidder was up at $21,440,000. Um, there are several alternatives included within each of the bids that we anticipated having uh, and then also some other unit prices that we had listed. We are recommending to the board a couple different uh, items on this. Number one, to accept the low bid from Larson Construction and add alternative number two, which is the reinjection well. Uh, the challenge with this, and, and I know we can talk about this in a little bit more detail later if necessary, but the reinjection well would come at the end of the project if it's needed for our geothermal system and the thought would be we budget for that if we don't have to have that because of the testing at the end of the project then we can uh, have the, those funds available for, for other needs. We would recommend alternate number three, uh, some tunable lighting in our three special education classrooms in the building and that's just an opportunity to test some, some newer um, technologies with lighting and, and see the positive impact it, it may have on those students. And then finally, accept alternative number nine, which is a deduct system for alternative wall panels. You can see then the total uh, construction cost of the project would be $20,052,500. Uh, the total cost of the project that we estimated was uh, $19,800,000. Um, so we are uh, a little over, but uh, understand too that uh, um, this is something that we know is expanded a little bit in size, but also it's going to be something that as we went through all the estimating and, and the processes, it's um, going to be very close. So Dan and Mike, I'm kind of turn it over to you at this time too for any other additional thoughts or comments. Well, Andy, you've taken all the thunder. So. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, so yeah, um, coming before you here today to, uh, as Andy said, with uh, what we think are some pretty competitive bids, and uh, Mike and I are ready to answer any questions you may have. One caveat to this, we have an alternative in here that's alternative number one, which is to add uh, additional classrooms to this site to go from a three section to a four section. Uh, we, we have worked uh, with the 
um, hopefully, um, Larson Construction, who are recommending for this, to be able to have a window for us to be able to have the other two bid openings for both North Cedar and Orchard Hill, and then we can come back with a recommendation for the board at that time. We know as we had the uh, enrollment demographics for our school district presented to the board about a month ago that Aldridge Elementary is projected to be over enrollment probably in the next uh, eight years Correct. roughly. So that is something we know is important. We're never going to do it as inexpensively as we can do it right now. And it's something that we think it's just prudent to uh, pause and wait to see what the other bids come in at and then make that recommendation from there. And those uh, bids, Andy, uh, North Cedar is scheduled for April 4th and Orchard Hill is scheduled for May 2nd. May 2nd. And we have uh, open that um, Larson would allow us to come back as soon as the last one is right. open to accept alternative number one. We have, would, the, we have the discussed stay, that with them. The amount would stay the same? Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Correct. Um, alternate number one, um, you know, looking at it from a square footage cost um, is $132.64. So it's considerably below the square footage cost of um, the remainder of the building. So. So our estimated uh, amount was going to be 19.8 is what we thought it would uh, it should. 19.84, I believe. 84, and we, so we came in at just over 20 million, so we're within 200, 300,000 of yeah. where we expected to be? Correct. Okay. And um, I see, I mean, on overall the Larson bid obviously is, uh, is um, more competitive than the other three uh, bidders on kind of call it just the dirt work down at the bottom, you know, they are quite a bit more. Um, are we expecting that we're going to have to do a lot of uh, clean fill, engineered, uh, you know, fill? Uh, we're not site? expecting a tremendous amount. We do have built into the bid um, two feet of over excavation under the, what I call the, the area that has two floors on it, uh, the mezzanine, the mechanical space, or the heavier loads. Uh, the gymnasium, uh, safe room, and then one foot under the rest of the building. Just as we get into it, and uh, earthwork has a tendency to be good for that one round hole that they dug, and sometimes it's not good for that. <laughs> yeah, and I and then the other thing I see on there is the rock excavation is, I mean, considerably higher, but. I'm assuming we've d we've dr drilled samples and there's not we've bedrock right under the surface. They, they didn't find anything. Uh, when the grading contractor was out there, they did find um, rocks. Uh, and those are piled up over in the corner, uh, but none of, didn't find anything of the kind of size that would require us to get to this level of uh, over excavation. So we're we're pretty confident that there's nothing there, but it's always good to have the number if we need it, so. And we, our test wells were, our test well was okay for the geothermal. Uh, Shopper Well did the test well during the design, and it was very good as, as far as the results go. And uh, like we've done in the rest of the Cedar Falls schools, we've always accepted that. We haven't used it in the district. Uh, in, in our history, we have used it before in other districts, but it's a good placeholder because it, coming at the end of the project, it is a bit of a surprise with that number. And so to plan for it seems to be the best route, and then it's just a, a nice surprise at the end. Okay, and correct me if I'm wrong, are we just doing this, is it gonna be a closed loop system? It's technically an open loop system. Open loop, okay, yep. mm -hmm. all right. And we're going to do something similar to that at Orchard, and we're not at North Cedar. That's correct. Okay. So if I understand it, on Alternative 1, we've got until May 2nd, kind of would be the... They, they will hold it. They will hold it. And, uh, and so looking at this, obviously their Larson is considerably higher than the other bids, but even if you take the base bid and the alternate bid, still overall they'd be less correct. from a from a contract standpoint. Correct. Dan, when we were talking about the original estimate versus what the bid came in at, did the original estimate include that alternate number two, the additional for the reinjection well? No, it did not. 
So if you take that alter alternate that we're adding out, Correct. moving closer to the estimate, then... Correct. Okay. That's good news. And did we also change some square footage in there? We added, uh, we added approximately 3,600 square feet through the process. Uh, we added the additional uh, kindergarten room okay. as being part of the safe room area. It didn't make any sense to come back after the fact to try to build that area and then uh, special ed uh, special ed rooms. Um, and then the kitchen, uh, we increased the size of that because that uh, needed to become a little bit more of a uh, production kitchen okay. rather than simply serving. Okay. Thank you. And again, thank you guys so much. And I know uh, other members that may be watching or out in the community that have been involved with this process. It's been a very in-depth, uh, uh, robust uh, dialogue as we've gone through the design process. And it's certainly going to be a building I think Cedar Falls will be proud of for generations to come. Mm -hmm. So what's the, to, to help me out on square footage, what's the, what's the dollar per square foot overall for If we take, because I if we use the yeah what what I the number I'm going to give you is the base bid minus a number that we have for breaking out the public street work and that portion of it. Um, so we're at uh, at that point two hundred and eighteen dollars and twenty five cents. And just not. To I'm just curious, uh, well, we haven't had a completely new building, so it's kind of hard to have a <clears throat> good reference point to say, um, for, but for the square footage, for example, that we added on to Hanson, was that about in that range as well? I, I don't remember, Jim. Yeah, and it would be hard because we, we renovated parts of the building yeah. and we added That's, on, so it's not really going to be apples to apples. Right, yeah, trying to get an apples to apples number is is difficult. Yep. I think good, bad, or indifferent. Just talking with superintendents across the state, it seems like this is uh, very favorably. Uh, I think the challenge within our area is that we have quite a bit of work going on, and I think that just shows the do. sign of strength and prosperity in this area. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a little bit more competitive even at that time. Yep. Right. Okay. And I just have a general question. So we had nine alternates bid mm -hmm. and we chose to go with three of them is it the design team andy is it you and doug sitting down with your design team how is it determined which of those alternates you recommend and is it just kind of a cost benefit analysis that's really what it comes down to is more of that kind of cost benefit analysis there are some in here that you know when you look at um, the going towards Terrazzo, it's more of an appearance, it's not necessarily anything else, but when you weigh out what else do we, we know we hope to do and want to do educationally that's going to maybe put a little bit more impact uh, within the classrooms, we think that going with an alternative one down the road makes much more sense. So it's trying to weigh those out to find out what the cost may be but to see if it's going to be beneficial because trying to offset Terrazzo with a 50-year life cycle maintenance of BCT tile and, and trying to compare those two is something that we do behind mm -hmm. the scenes. Right. Okay. Thank you. Good question. Very good question. Any, any other questions? All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Hearing none, do I have a motion to approve the bid from Larson Construction with alternate two, uh, alternate two, alternate three, and alternate nine? So moved. Thank you, Susan. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Susie. Uh, any further discussion or questions? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, board members, for coming. Do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Thank second. you, Jenny. We have a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 We aye. are adjourned. Thank you, Susie.